I trust this will suffice? God smiles upon the generous. Oh, away with you! Back to your sexpit, beggar! <laughs> A land grotesque as its people. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh. That dream died long ago. You should have done the same. Your kingdom will perish alongside you. By my hand. I cannot fathom it. His majesty killed in his own bed. The blooms upon the prince's grave had yet to wilt. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. In dark times, we must stand together. Your eminence! Who could do this? Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet... And yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Shadows stir in the castle, just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? Huh? Luis. A shame to die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. One has to ask, them dead, who shall take the throne? Don't
Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? More than wishful thinking, more than fiction, something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. This must be what you believe. I confess, my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true then? <laughs> The king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. Uh, to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all! All we ask is a little tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... <laughs> come on, come on! Hey, keep it moving! Up. Next one! <laughs> huh? Look at you! What have we got here? He's an elder! So he is. No horns, no knife ears. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. <laughs> oh, 
Reloading! <laughs> Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> You're falling, Lloyd! They're falling in stuff like us! Drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. Stand aside! Ah, this place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. What mission? Come on! This is no time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. Think we'll make it? Let's go.
Watch out! Okay? <laughs> Strong ones ahead. We gotta be careful. <laughs> They look pretty tough. Careful now. I'm sorry. Please wake up. Everyone. Answer me. Will your tale end here? Okay. Just checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives? First, we get to the Royal Capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the Army's Recruitment Center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on, we don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say, anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. Music was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the road a little easier. Look! Over there! Let's go. Tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Euchronia. The year is 785. Euchronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart. 
And no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. By this story of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew. Then drop the dog. Hang him dead. Please, I've done nothing wrong. Lying dog. Don't try to deny it. You trample the law for the fun of it. Let it be known, for misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead. <laughs> yeah! There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you spare some coin? Bless you. Oh, careful! Hurry. Uh, don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. Look, we're not tourists here. Focused! Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here, in the whole city even. Capital's incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Clamars and Roussants than anyone else. Which means a dopey Elda kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about His Majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play, assassination. Shh, careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> The king dead, his son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best, the saint, could purify this affliction. Over ten years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest. But, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. Hey, are you listening? Well, 
I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one, let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard considering the need for soldiers. Whatever will I do? Let's go see! All right then. to do now. That's not what I expected. That's terribly unfair. Well met, eh? What's going on? Oh my. What to do? An elder? Terribly unfair. Idiot peasant. Ridiculous. That's terribly unfair. Well met, eh? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> What's going on? That's terribly unfair. Whatever will I do? Ugh, oh, come off it.
simply amazing. And what is it? Hmm. Oh, yeah? So you. Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. Now I want one for myself. Yeah, until you see the price tag. I can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say, you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. Uh, the royal scepter? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? Uh... A symbol and instrument of the crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead. With no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. Let's head there.
is a joy! <laughs> this place... Damn. Hmm... An elder? Here? You are. <laughs> what am I to do? Really now? I know. Huh. I'm out of ideas. Aya. That's wrong, though. I'm out of ideas. Big pardon. Oh, there. <laughs> Beg pardon? Elder Rummy, close your ears. Aha! Excellent. All right then. What's 
have left me, I believe. That's wrong, though. <laughs> Oh my! That's wrong, though! Oh. Hmm. Elden rubbish! Dear me! That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should... Oh! And if they start asking questions, just... Be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's word. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An apathy one, aren't you? Fine, lordling. Welcome to the guard where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place! Don't! The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece! Alright, next! Hurry it up! Huh, an elder? I thought your kind was long gone. Age... 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So, what can you bring to our beloved corps? Any skills to speak of? I can take a lot of punishment. Really now? I would not have guessed. Sounds like an invitation to me. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate.
you know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're shorthanded as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Standard issue guardsman armor and igniter. Kingdom property, so if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way now, up to next. Coming to I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? Wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um... Next! What do they call them? Something like, um... Human... Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. It's better off in my hands. Give it here. Who force? Crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Roussant strength? Oh, forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there.
Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> hmm. And take this, too. Protect it with your life. even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger, and as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Pain. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. Dismissed! Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet, but he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. I'm asleep. Good night. Ha ha. Very funny. Look, I just... have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still... when you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open? It's a lot. You okay? Never could see Siri. Yeah, I could tell. Try to put it behind you, okay? Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? That was a long time ago. Yeah, but still, the prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, 
and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Whoa. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict. And equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy. But it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. Well, guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet... They burned your home down. It's tragic. And no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. I won't give up either. Trust me.
until arrival at the northern border fort. One day remains. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. This place here. Hold on. This place here. Hey, don't forget. Right? Let's see. Transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The Northern Border Fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. Oh, finally! Can hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician, master of arms. When I earn rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades, Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? It tells of a world united as one tribe. No discrimination, eh? A far cry from our world, then. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you. A babe with his first sword thinking he knows better than a king. 
Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. Ugh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. If it's a fight you want, draw your blade. <laughs> Didn't think you'd just challenge me straight out. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time. But only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen, stay on guard. Is it's too <sighs> not one of mine. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Anyway, to the fort. Double time. I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's royal army. Swallow your fear. Fight with pride. And we'll all have medals this time tomorrow. He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go. Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward to the fort then. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's a stench in the air, and it's getting stronger. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a fairy? Did you catch it yourself? She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Galica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be all right. I swear I won't let you die. I'm with you. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. Okay?
Ei. Stash that somewhere safe. What do you think? <laughs> Got it? Take care of it, please. Things 
will be fine. Catch! Bend down! Okay, I'll yeah, give him my all we've got.
Wait. Be careful. Hey! Okay. Alright, how's that? This is our chance! This could be our chance! Burn to us! Cut for the left door! Matched. Guess we'd better stay on our toes! You're here? The power of fire! Wish every fight was that easy, eh? Not bad. Not bad at all. That's somewhere safe. Push through! This battle's out. Give it my own. I think I'm getting used to this. I 
I think that's all of them. Let's give him a fight! Let's take them all out! Get in there! Finish them all! Run to us! The next one will fall just as easy. I think that's all of them. <laughs> This battle's out. I'll give it my own. Let's go. I think I'm getting used to this. I think we got them all.
This battle's out. This is our chance. The power of fun. The next one will fall just as easy. Okay. I feel strong. Shows the wrong opponent. Be careful. There's more of them. <laughs> Push through. This battle's out. Yeah, yeah, my own. Go. Stay calm, everyone. <laughs> There's no way I'm stopping here. That'll do it. Uh, all right. Good work. We have the edge. I'm tossed. Uh, and we'll win this. this. Burn to us. Let's wrap this up. Out. Good one, Stu. Keep it up. Only one left. Finish the hole and we're clear. I think I'm getting used to this. Everyone. Uh, uh, 
Okay, okay. Let's do this all we've got. The next one will fall just as easy. We made short work of them. it off somehow. Darned humans. It was all because of them. We'll just have to make it work. Ugh, looks like we can't brute force through this one. Let's go. Burn! Vile monster. You're mine! Ah! Down like this. Distracted. You two, run! But! Above all else, I am a noble. And a noble defends his people, no matter the cost. Farewell. If you would repay me, then live. <laughs> For 
Forgive me. What? No! Please, say something! Stroll! Don't be a fool. Just run for it. Oh, fate saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. Uh. <laughs> thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the uh. throne. The future yet unknown dawns in this moment. <laughs> thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. I choose. So be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Engrave thy very heart. Freedom of a wanderer. Seeker! Wind! Come on! You've got to hit the other spot, too! <laughs> Let's go! The freedom of Seeker! Wind! Push through! Take out those apple things? I think 
won't regret it. You know, maybe there's something I can do. Hey, can you let me handle this? Understood. Leave it to me. Now it can't heal itself anymore. Don't waste your chance. Get in there! Seeker! Wind! Thy strength is drawn, yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero. The power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shalt reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! <sighs> Look, that stroll guy is still alive! I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. That voice... Grius! Oh, thank goodness, you're alive! Gallica, you made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, oi! Lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry him. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive, and you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, uh, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius? You have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Luis Guiaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. Those scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Luis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. 
We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a Farsight Mirror. You need to see the Prince's condition for yourself. His Highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Louise cast the curse, so killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. Can someone catch me up here? About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Luis Guillaburn, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guillaburn himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, or the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, then this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. There, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to. Luis will also be at the royal funeral. If we're not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We're bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. No. We should finally be able to get some rest. This is your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. 
No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found on those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. I want to hear about the mission. With numbers like this, a head-on assault would be suicide. Quick, covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him? We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand.
Ugh. Can't sleep? Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. The ground makes a poor bed. Well, you're just gonna have to rough it until we're back to the capital. I wanted to tell you, though. When the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. It's not your fault. You say that, but look... I can't fight with you, but as long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know. I don't know what it is just yet, but I believe in you. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here with magla arts fueling the flames, but it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. Good night. Well, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. I've been waiting. And now you've acquired the most interesting power. You truly are an intriguing one. Fascinating. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. 
And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, what would you say to an alliance? What kind of alliance? There must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magma within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near mythic figures with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Okay. The bargain is struck then. The scholar in search of Utopia, more. Within him dwells the virtue of the Seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Now let's see what manner of story you live. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Here's to our joined path, and the thrills that yet lie ahead. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Five days remain. All ready then? From here on, we travel in secret. If we are to get back into the capital, We'll have to do it undetected, so we'll cut through the forest, find the abandoned mine shaft in the mountain, and take the tunnel to the other side. That way they'll never see us coming, huh? Lad, you'll be our vanguard. It'll be a trial by fire, but the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Speaking of, you were talking like you know something about it. Mm, not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me, but everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. Huh. It really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. I'm aware. I'm watching you. Yes, I get it. Just trust me, all right? Right. Let's check the map. This'll all be for nothing if we get lost. This place. That being the case, All right. 
hold on. Stop! This place here. Here's where we are now. Located northwest of Grand Trad, it is resource rich with magla crystals. Its proximity to the capital simplified crystal excavation, but the Sanctus Church's sudden proclamation of closure stopped work in its tracks. Exiting the forest, the party continues along the wooded road leading to the derelict mine.
right there. I don't see anything we can't handle easily. Come on! Well Just done. push through! All right. How's Come that? on! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just as easy. That was the last of them. <sighs> what is it?
Now then. Thank you. This battle's ours. This could be our turn. Let's, Let's go. Wind. Let's finish this. Take this. Sword. Finish the job. Last one. Let's stay calm. Come, come forth, through. royal soul. Scour. No more third breath. That should do it. <laughs> Just a bunch of weak ones. We should be fine. <laughs> Forward! <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> Nobody here to lay claim to it. So it's yours. I see you. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Let's give him a fight! Don't make them closer! Get in there! Finish him off! I've got you! Critical hit! Oh. I think I'm getting used to this. Don't get too relaxed! Uh, Catch! Never heard of this! This battle's out! Get in this quick go! Everyone, go! Uh. Two remaining. Take this! I knew you had this! Yeah. Ah, one left! Double through the lightest power! Scour! The next one will fall just as easy. That's all over. We can relax <laughs> for now. Alright, how's that? <laughs> Let's give him a fight! Uh, no strike! Uh, Take this! Hell no! Some battles are hardly a fool. That's all over. Uh, relax for now. Hold on. Got a moment? It appears we must do this. I've never fought soldiers before. But I won't waver. Wind! What is that? Never seen anything like it! That's not an igniter! It's our turn now! Shite!
All right. Up, or these innocents pay the price. But the only one who could know we survived, and the only one who could send soldiers after us. Oh, come on, let's move. Stop right there! <laughs> what are you doing? They saw us! Cut for your toes, everyone! <laughs> one who never went up to the fort itself after all. It couldn't have been anyone else. Who would have fought three sorry stragglers? 
would make it past a whole unit of assassins. Bastard! You never intended for anyone to survive. You knew the human would be there! Naturally. You heard the reports. I only put more bait on the hook. I wasn't expecting that damned thing to be rampaging already. You sent those soldiers to their deaths. Why? Because the Kingdom's Guard is powerless before the humans, and only a pile of bodies will prove that to the public. So someone wants the King's Guard disgraced. And when the people need him most, a savior rises as their shield. Is that your game? Savior? Speak plain, boy. You think he's one of Luis's men? A pitiful flock needs its shepherd. If a little blood is what it takes to show them who their real savior is, then that's a price easily paid. That's why those sons and daughters die. For your savior. <laughs> they aren't the first. The soldiers cry for reinforcements. The villagers plead to be spared. But I know better than to confront a human. A... a village? You refused. Wait, then you were the one who... Seven years ago, the first flames day of June, a village in the northern hills was razed to the ground. A village called Harlia. Hmm? Oh yes, that might have been a name. Then you made a fatal mistake, Klinger. You left one survivor! Stay back! Help me! Ugh. You played right into our hands, you know. <clears throat> ah. This was the only road without checkpoints. A simple deduction. You're a disgrace to your title. I may not make it out alive, but as for you, you're hopeless! O oh, thou who art seared with bitterness, O oh, thou anguished traveler, it is time for thou to choose thy path. O oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the king's own path, awaken! Without him, I've got nothing left. You struggle in vain. I won't let you rob me of my glory. This is the way of the real world, little lordling. You call this real? Leaders abandon their people, and the innocent die by their scorn. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you. <laughs> My name is Leon Stroll de Halliatus. My home and my family were taken from me. I am the last of my house. I am the last of my noble bloodline. And in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand! I will show you a world with honor! What is this? Wait! He's got power like yours now? Well, better show him how to use it! I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll not cave to an empty threat like that! This ignite is all I need to turn you to ash! You lot, get to it! Cover me! So he scampers off to protect himself, and his subordinates get to be his living shields. The man's showing his true colors. I'll fix the filthy coward with the end he deserves. The Igniter's powerful, but it takes care and calculation to wield. If you sense danger, steal your defenses and endure it. Ah! Ah! 
let's stay calm. Uh, looks like we can't brute force through this one. Let's go. I'll get some dishes. Uh -huh. Scour. <laughs> Let's make this quick. Die! I shall vanquish evil. I'll cut you down. Tougher than I thought. Seeker! Wind! Take this! And slash. I will fight with pride. Let's go. Scour. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Warrior. What a mess. Warrior. <laughs> Seeker! Is there another way? Wind! Take point. this! Oh, finish the job! Die! 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 You! You! Die! Warrior! Pack and slash! Oh, Louise! Okay. Not bad at all. I shall rise to the occasion. I'm eager to see you use that. Expected a commissioned officer would end up a wild-eyed zealot. How... how did I do all that? And without an igniter? Just like him? Who are you two, really? I... I'm Leon Straw. Just a fallen noble from the countryside. Back there, Klinger mentioned a village that was raised by a human. They sent for help, but he abandoned them. Halia was its name. I'm the son of its lord. And now I know what really happened. We sent our fastest riders, but... We were doomed from the start. If Luis was behind it, then that's all I need to know. He's the one who'll answer for it. I have my own reason to fight now. I don't want to be an ally of convenience alone, so once more... 
please, let me join your cause. <sighs> what do you say, Grius? <sighs> I say keeping an eye on you was too much trouble in the first place. So you've no objections? What say you, friend? Already one of us. Thank you. I'll remember this. Now, onward. The proud noble, Stroll. Within him dwells the virtue of the warrior. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Together we stand. Did you feel that just now? What's going on? Does it have something to do with that odd magic? Now that I think about it, once you awakened, isn't it weird that Stroll followed not long after? What does this mean? <gasps> Wait, what? indeed. Somehow you find yourself here once more. And a fairy. I thought their kind long extinct. Do they yet take refuge in the Elden Sanctum? Hey! You gonna talk to me or just at me? We meet again, my friend. Though admittedly sooner than I'd expected. Remarkably, another has awakened. What miracle is this? Yes, that same power now stirs in your companion. Another of the mighty archetypes. Do you recall our discussion earlier about how archetypes are an original form of magic? Um, well, more or less. Consider this. As an elder, you are an outcast of society, yes? Your very identity is a kind of destiny you may defy but not escape. All mortals suffer under the weight of our burdens. But in facing and embracing that anxiety, you make it your innermost power. You find freedom. And so, the lives of those who overcome their hardships and embody the virtues within are passed down as heroic tales. Your companion, too, had his eyes open to his true path and claimed its virtue. That awakening is your doing. He awakened to the archetype that protects you. Hey, hold on a second! Who even are you? How much do you know? I'm warning you, if you mess with him, you're gonna have to go through me! Ah, you two share quite a deep connection, don't you? Well, we didn't always, but now we're partners to the end. We're linked down to the depths of our hearts. Right? Right. We trust each other. I've got his back and he's got mine. And that's all there is to it. The mystical fairy, Gallica. Within her dwells the virtue of the mage. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I won't lead you astray. That's the whole reason I'm here. Hey, wasn't that... Fascinating. Do you understand what just happened? 
By connecting with others who have found their resolve, you awaken to new strength. And further, you and all your allies may fight with the strength of any archetype in your circle. As an example, your other companion, the fellow with the eye patch, he seems to have some training and knowledge regarding the wielding of an archetype. By his own account, nothing came of it. Yet if you so desire it, you can awaken the true power within him. What? You mean Rius could use this power too? The nature of the Seeker. No. Perhaps it is simply your own nature. You truly are remarkable. If you seek answers, then go and claim them. This right here. Now then. This here. I see. This could be useful. Fascinating.
What now? Wow. 
welcome. What would you care to know? Hmm. <laughs> what would you care to know? Hmm. What would you care to know? Hmm. What would you care to know? It appears that... What would you care to know? Does this...
Oh, yeah? This right here. Hi, young friend. You are truly as remarkable as I first believed. Others fated to awaken to their own power will be naturally drawn to you. To reach the lineage of power's greatest potential, you must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. After all, a hero without allies is nothing more than a lone dissenter. To save the many, you must learn to fight with the power of many. Only a champion of the people may awaken the power of heroes, and with it, sees a future of their own making. <sighs> when next you come to see me, I hope it shall be of your own volition. Open my book, then let your imagination conjure this place anew, as vividly as you can make it. I'm sure that will be enough to reunite us. As long as you walk your path, I shall faithfully watch over you. May we meet again. Where are we? You two all right there? Looked as if you were in some kind of trance. Trance? Wait. Have we been here this whole time? It was strange. As if I felt something in the air. My senses sharpened near tenfold. It reminded me of my old days studying magic. What? So that wasn't a dream? Grius, that's probably his power! You studied back at the Sanctum, right? I know you couldn't get the hang of it then, but... I think we might have just awakened it! Awakened it? But that... Who are you people? The truth, if you would. Look, in all honesty, we barely know any more than you do. But the short version is... Well, I think you can use that power now. Uh, I think you might be right. The way it feels is... Well, this is magic, eh? I'd all but given up on it, but... Fate had other plans, it seems. Enough. We must move on. There is far to go still. And lad, I follow your lead now, at least when it comes to how we use these skills in battle. We haven't the luxury of time to train with magic. Same here. You've clearly got a sense for this, and I'd rather make myself useful than muddle your strategies. We've five days until the funeral. That's precious little time, and we'd best not waste it. Look! What's up?
die too. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, definitely. What now? What now? to hold back. Now, any means is necessary. Please! I think I'm getting used to this. I think we got them all. We'll be safe for a while. Take it! Justice! Ah, Let's wrap this up! Great job, the Troll. power of heroes! The next one will fall just as easy, if I say so myself. Ah. 
We found some. Take it. Let's go. been waiting. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right? I'm counting on you. Of course. New skills, new possibilities. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right? I'm counting on you. Of course. I still have much to learn. What now? Looks 
like it's not safe yet. Stay alert! What now? Yourself too hard. I knew you'd help. Come on! Oh, right. Did it! Could be useful. To 
take it with you. We're here to stop you! Sheesh, they're pretty tough! To the rear guard! Better be careful! You won't hold back! Fire! What? It didn't affect me! No! Them. What's the- No holding back! I'll cut you down! <laughs> Any means necessary. Rush me, wait! Let's stay calm. Me! No. They're totally fireproof. We better do something else. Nice. We hit their weakness. I shall fight as I call upon royal power within. Hack and slash. Blade ready, lads. They're weak to ice. Let's stop them cold. Hey, what was that, Rius? Watch out! 
can't give up now. Let's go. Freeze. You hit their weakness. A warrior. Too fearless. Now, together. I would hold back. Put it, you up quick. Don't push yourself too hard. Thanks. Your guard's down. Shoot me. I shall fight as the noble warrior! I'll cut you down! Can't linger here. Let's Not move. Bad, if I say so myself. Right? I can get used to this. These are just small fry. We play it cool. Take this. Ice cream. In the name of justice. Ah, one left. Out. No nice need to take out. this. Can't bite too much. Oh, please. Well, that's about does it. We made short work of them. They'll need more than this. I'm not going to sell okay? this. Try to heal up. Three is taking Falling back. Head. Come forth, royal soul. Freeze. Nice. That one's down. I can't this afford to hold nothing back. Nothing to worry about. I can slash! Who remains? Oh, distancing yeah. myself. I won't hold back. Psycho! Stay focused! They will fight with Burn! Now, what's the uh, tougher than I thought? That settles that. Bones will bring me down in battle. Can you heal it? This is fast. They're on to us. Right there. Let's give them a fight. Don't let them This is our chance. They're totally fireproof. Me! You better do I'll get some distance. I won't hold back. You hit their weakness! In I shall vanquish evil! Hack and slash! Freeze is the uh, uh, it it it'll hurt a lot more! 
I'll attack from here. Take this! It's okay. Come forth, royal soul! In the name of justice! Let's try this! God help! Now, what's the play? Uh, tougher than I thought. Blade ready, la Take this sword! Finish the job! Grease's sword is down! Mage! Ice! That's how I've survived this long. Strength is only what you make of it. Let's push through! Uh, and precautionary heal would hurt. Still, though. True. Then... <sighs> Still, though.
Let's go! wrong somehow. Now I remember. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand. And anyone who might touch them is driven mad. That's all just superstition though, right? Still, this thing is giving off a really nasty aura. That's no ordinary monster. Some kind of human? The way it's moving, it's almost like it's... Protecting the crystal! Here it comes! They're falling back! Jeez, they're pretty tough! I won't hold Better back! Be careful! Burn! In the name of Warrior! Blade ready, lads! The power of heroes! Cyclone! Come forth, royal soul! Ice! You hit their weakness! Now, what's the play? I shall vanquish evil! Hack and slash! No need distancing myself! Braced and ready. It's okay. By this power. Freeze! I can't. Oh! Oh, oh, Someone get him back on his feet! Stroll got knocked out. Can anyone get him back on his feet? This should help. Got them right in their weakness. Let's say come forth, royal Start soul. As always, Grius. You hit their weakness. Blade ready, lads. Seeker. <sighs> I won't hold back. Nice. Badly 
Don't be shy. I'm sorry. Don't push yourself so hard. No, not now. Get up. Sika. against fear, rise and face anxiety. To the floor! Are you prepared? Hack and slash! The power of heroes! Blaze! It's okay. Me! Nice! You hit their weakness! Moving to the rear! I shall vanquish evil! I'll cut you down! This is mage! Burn! What's the No holding back! I'll cut you down! Tougher than I thought! <laughs> Mage! Might not have- <laughs> Help! Help I come forth, royal soul! Freeze! You hit their weakness! I shall fight as the noble I am. Let's try this! You hit their weak point! Blade ready, control. lads. I've got this. Got them right in their I'll show you the essence of truth. Nice. Double do. 
I shall rise to the occasion. What is this crystal? By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. They shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around. More questions than answers, but there's no time to ponder them. We better move. You can't be serious. What now? Seeker! I can't say I was expecting you, Doc, to fight. You're either bloody bold or too confident for your own good. Just so we're clear. Slaying the thing's beyond you. Underestimating a dragon is the fastest way to get yourself killed. Fortunately, this one's on the smaller side as dragons go. We might have a chance of driving it off. Listen! Keep an eye on its movements. Be ready for anything. If you sense it bracing to strike, Stand your ground and shield yourself. Do not waste your lives in a place like this. Now, let's go, lads! We're on a mission, and we won't turn back for anything. Not even Are friends. you prepared? Hack and slash! It's okay, I'll get some distance. Come forth, royal soul! Ice! You hit their weakness! My blade is steep. I'll attack from here. Seeker! Rasping wing! I can't afford- ah! oh, that Wasn't Someone get enough. him back on his feet! Let's go! Freeze! You hit their weakness! Not the power of heroes! Cyclo! Stroga, I will okay. move! Can anyone nice. get him back on his feet? No need to rush this. Take it. Vitus power! Get him back on his feet! Freeze! You hit their weakness! Blade any means necessary. Keep it together! Thanks! I won't hold back! Nice! 
not the power of heroes. I would hold back. Don't push yourself too hard. That helped. I'll shook him forth, royal soul. Any means necessary. Training is never complete. <sighs> well,
look. Uh, what the? No, stop. Actually, made it out. And in one piece, no less. Speak for yourself. I think that shaved a couple years off my life. Damn storm. Can't afford too many delays, but we'll not be getting far in this torrent. We can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow once we're out of the wastes. We'll have to if we want to make it in time. Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. Lovely. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. Ah, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about, I don't know, a life of prestige, being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human. Though I had no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter, but they would never come. Mm. The parents I'd so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. Your parents were heroes. It changed everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now. A footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were, now, I think, what if the army, well, Luis, what if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then, then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius, we all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye, maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. Something special about that sword? Well, we used it to identify the messenger from our faction. But it originally belonged to His Highness. A kingly gift from his father. To better suit His Highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Of course, <laughs> when swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about. <laughs> A royal rascal, that one. Those days were all too short. Then, twelve years ago, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? There was a plot on his life. One I wish I'd written out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Your Highness, this way! Who let these black 
Rush into the palace! <laughs> His Highness survived the attack, but the curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him. And he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way to dispel the curse. Its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now. And shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but saviour for his highness, for the king, and for the very future of this country. He must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. A rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. I'm beat.
What now? What now? What now? <laughs> what now? 